Okay, so we have a, a circuit to the right there, and the, uh, the first thing that we want to uh, to find is the uh, the total resistance. And when we're uh, when we're looking for the total resistance, what we uh, what you really need to think about is uh, is making sure you understand where the parallel and the series branches are in the circuits. Um, and so, what you have here is a um, parallel branch that is here with a series branch that is with that. Um, we have a 12 volt EMF um, and a one ohm internal resistance on the uh, on the circuit here. So um, the first thing we need to do is solve for what the total resistance of the parallel branch is. And that looks like this. One over RT for the parallel branch is equal to one over five ohms plus one over three ohms. And when you solve that out, you get a total resistance of 1.9 ohms. Okay, so that's just the parallel branch. Um, and then we have the, uh, the resistance of this two ohm resistor um, plus the internal resistance of the battery. So the, uh, the total resistance of the circuit. T is equal to Total resistance of the circuit is 4.9 ohms, and that is um, everything inclusive. Now, um, the next step is to uh, to look at how much current the battery is putting out, and uh, that we use Ohm's law. I is equal to V divided by R, so it's 12 volts divided by the ohms, or the resistance, and we solve that out. We get about 2.4 amps. So that means that in the uh, in all the series parts of the circuit, we have 2.4 amps. If we're um, next looking for the power used up by the resistors, um, we can uh, look at the uh, the total resistance of the resistors, which is um, not entirely this. We don't want to include the internal resistance of the battery. So the total resistance of the uh, just the resistors themselves is 1.9 ohms plus 2 ohms. Um, that's equal to um, 3.9 ohms. Notice we're not, again, including this internal resistance here. Um, we can use this equation. P is equal to... I squared times R, so that would be equal to 2.4 amps squared times 3.9 ohms. The power used by just the resistors alone, again, not the internal resistance of the battery, works out to be 23.2 watts. And uh, the last part of this problem deals with uh, finding the uh, the voltage drop across or the current flow across each one of the uh, resistors, and to do that to do that we need to look at what the voltage drops are. So the first thing that we want to do is find the uh, the voltage drop um, across this resistor here, and to find the voltage drop across that resistor, um, we simply take um, Ohm's law again. And, uh, and write out this way, V is equal to I times R. We have 2.44 amps of current going through that resistor, and the resistor is 2 ohms. So the voltage drop across that resistor is 7.32 volts. That means that... Um, if we have 7.32 volts across that resistor, we must have um, 12 minus 7.32 volts across the parallel branch. You guys can do the work. I'm not going to talk you through it. It makes sense. Okay? Period. I'll tell you. 
4.68 volts um, across the parallel branch. So that's here. So now knowing the voltage across the parallel branch, we can go ahead and solve for the, uh, the current through each of the resistors. So if we want the current through the 5 ohm resistor, it's equal to 4.68 volts divided by 5 ohms, and that's equal to 0 0.936 amps. If we want I across the 3 ohm resistor, again, it's 4.68 volts divided by 3 ohms. That's equal to 1.56 amps. And um, the final check is if we add these two together, um, we should get a number that is close to 2.4 amps, which is, uh, which is what we have there. It's slightly off because of a rounding error. And so we've solved for all parts of this circuit. And, uh, and that's what it looks like.